Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I am, of course, Hickory the Drunk and Underwhelming, and we are back in the Infected today. Uh, what we are going to be doing is we're going to build up some planters so we can get some uh, food going. Uh, we're just going to leave them outside let the rain water them. Uh, so first, we're going to start by making 50 nails. And we're going to grab and see what we have for nails. Uh, I already had 31. Uh, and we're going to build these up on top of area where we will be putting our greenhouse. And that way, hopefully, we won't have to move them too far once uh, once we build the greenhouse. But we won't have to do that until late in the summer. I figured it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some of those, uh, oops, <clears throat> some of the planters down. Uh, food. Got some crops going. Uh, I think 10 is enough for right now. Yeah, and they're not even at all, but whatever. Grab more planks. Okay, we're still good on stuff. Yeah, I just have the nails. Okay. Ah, oh, six or two, three, four, five. Of course, of course. Uh, I cannot jump off of here. <laughs> I gotta remember that. That would be a no-no, because -no. uh, yeah, that fall would hurt. Fall damage is real. We did that I think, two episodes ago. I guess caught it where I fell off there onto the ice while I was building it, and man, it took like half my health. Oh. <laughs> Gotta get some planks out real quick. Okay, one of those. Okay, excellent. Oh, there's a very nice amount of stone just laying around here. That's uh, it's nifty. I have almost a forge. Oh, I did have. A, I had a forge full of stone. That's awesome. way there. Grab some seeds. Uh, I think, yeah. And then we got one of those, one of those. Yeah, I think that's right. And since we have it, let's do it. We're going to make it uh, another water bottle. As well, uh, fill it with clean water once we're done. This will alleviate some of the water issues. So we get a uh, water pump up and going. And hopefully, some rain will uh, come in.
And then you wonder, why would you do this many potatoes? Well, the potatoes take up the least amount of space and storage. Oops. And also get you a uh, biofuel still. So... It just makes sense to have more potatoes. Because they take up the least amount of space. Because a watermelon takes up like four spaces. And a potato takes up one. And at the end of the day, you get uh, the same amount of biofuel. One more trip. As it would have been fairly convenient to put the planters down here for now until the greenhouse is built, but oh well. It's not that bad, and I don't honestly think we're that far out from having running water. little sheep meat and I found my arrow awesome uh, let's see that fish is still about 13 minutes yeah we were having uh needed more fuel <laughs> so we had to do some uh had to do some fishing Actually, uh, did another round since then, and uh, I feel like we're at a good spot right now as far as fuel production goes, especially after this garden is up and going. Uh, okay. Oh, that's nice that it puts up a little uh, thingy now. And that should be done in just a minute. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go grab some logs and uh, build a couple more walls in the ceiling over there. First, we're going to take this free watermelon. Oh, more veggies. Okay. Oh, there's another deer over there. It's kind of a long shot. Okay, let's see. That's dirty. Okay, so now we'll have two full clean water bottles. Wanted to get the at least the square back or uh, a roof over this little section, so I could possibly move some stuff over here. Yeah, right here. So unfortunately, I have to get rid of these half walls because uh, we're gonna put full walls there.
Oh, yeah, one more plank. So we'll move this back over here because we will be building over here for a little while. Ah. <laughs> I'm pretty cool with that. I think we will come out one more, but I think right now that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's toss a ceiling. Some ceiling in between these two. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait until I get over there. Of course, it's raining after I took that time to water the crops. Come on, log. Don't you run away from me. Again, this might help us uh, like flesh it out a little bit, see what things look like. logs. Let's go uh, let's gather some wood. Uh, there was an update since I last uh, caught on. Uh, 9.1. There's now a stone grinder. Uh, but we will not be building it. So our few fuel issue I can't talk today, apparently, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine that. Anchor the Dark and Underwhelming slopping over his words. Uh, won't be building that until we have a, uh, a more resolved fuel situation. And that we are good on fuel. Okay, let's toss another roof here. So let's do it from up top so we make sure it's going the right way. Okay. One more log cart load. See what she looks like. Uh, definitely coming along. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking grand scheme of things this area here is going to be maybe my little forge room <laughs> it just took an interesting route it was funny 
Uh, there will be a bridge that goes over there at some point. But I was thinking this would be a nice little forge room. Uh, do you think we're going to come out with... Uh, let's see. Actually, that might be really cool. Yes, I dig that. Okay. This will be our forge room. We're going to have uh, some two forges, obviously, and then some ingots. And I can't tell if it's raining. Okay. No, I was just outside. That's why it looked like it was raining inside there, because I wasn't actually inside. Go figure, it actually rains outside. I wonder if my crops are growing already. The sheep is just like up there starting its stuff, trying to mock us, I think. I hit him with the cart. Almost. Yeah, I think we're going to go out one more ceiling section. Because I should say for now, because eventually we're going to have there'll be at least a couple floors here. I have to collect more wood. Kind of clear cutting over here. Pretty sure this is the route we would take to get to get the other extractor spot. So probably wouldn't be bad to clear out some of this. Maybe, uh, I don't know build something to signify a path in the future. Well, that could be just a lot of wasted resources. So three more, and then we'll put the rest of that load in the plank thingy. Uh, so as I was going to say earlier, with the addition of the pack sharpener, it restores your... Uh, your tools, your iron tools. So what we're going to do is if we don't have it built by the time this thing's about to break, we're just going to build a new one, put this on a weapons rack, and then we'll repair it once we have the thing made. Because it's a lot cheaper, I think, to repair than it is to build. If you don't have fuel to run the stone thing, it doesn't help. So... Okay, got some links in there. This thing is going to start looking like a building. Of course, I'm way too heavy.
Okay, yeah, we'll have to go like eat some food here in a little bit. Oh, did I really? Uh. That's all right. I got to go one more this way anyways. Oh, yeah, I'll have to build that one. But, uh, get those planks in there. Okay. Grabbing another log cart. Let's see here. It's good. We should have some more uh, biofuel to be made when we get back. We'll have to work on that. But we're just going to get this finished real quick, and then we'll go take care of some food stuff. Some planks are over there. <laughs> Get the weight off. I'm just going to go get this one more. Hey, buddy. Okay. I'm not going to follow the floor, right? Yep. Okay. Just wanted to check. That's looking pretty cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a really interesting uh, interesting base here. So I hope you guys are enjoying the build so far. I, of course, make her the drunken underwhelming, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.